ladies and gentlemen, the Jaywick Sands Happy Club is the best community club in the world, in the universe. And we have got the mighty Daniel Casey, we've got the mighty Andy White, and they know that we've had enough. They know that people are starving. They know people can't turn their heating on. They know there's a lot of people out there with not a lot at all. And they want to stand for local election to change this. And we are going to get an exclusive interview with the mighty Andy White and the mighty Daniel Casey. And the guy sitting in between, his name is Gordon, and he takes our photos, and he's a very nice man. So is Daniel Casey, and so is Andy White, and my name is Danny Sloggett, and I make videos, and I am the chairman of the Jaywick Sands Happy Club, and I've got a lot more to do as well, because I've only just started. So without further ado, it is time to hand you over to the mighty Daniel Casey and the mighty Andy White, exclusive of why they are standing for local election. Shine on Daniel Casey and Andy White. Can you please tell my fans and friends why you're standing for local elections? I stood here for five years as the Labour councillor representing the people. And it's all about representing the people. We can't change central government, what goes on up there. But what we can do is chase them for any funding to come down here to help the people down there who need it. We have no work. I don't think we're going to be able to change that, but we're going to ask the questions on work. We're looking to get some investors to see if they can come down and do something about the housing. Because when we ever get this housing, I don't really know. But it's about looking after people's needs, etc. There's a lot of people out there have problems with benefits, you name the lot. And that's what it's all about for us. That we can't solve everything, but we can point people in the right direction and help people in need help. That's me in a nutshell. Dan, you are the people's person and you are loved so much and thank you for representing the people. And Andy White, it's over to you, sir. What do you think about this and what can you do for us? It's pretty much what Dan said, really. I mean, every year your council tax goes up. You pay your council tax, but you get less in return for it. So your bins go to two weeks and you can't get a policeman when you need one. And if you hit 999 for an ambulance, well, that's going to take an hour and a half for the ambulance to get it. But you keep paying for it and you keep getting less. So it's, it's about getting some people there that understand what the problems are, to put some pressure on the local council and make sure that somebody's actually paying attention. And you're going to represent the people? I certainly hope so. And because so at the moment, you get a bunch of guys who throw a smart suit on, show up once every four years, yep. get your vote, and then... You don't see them again? Well, I assume they haven't been here. Yeah, I'll make you right. It's spoken for the people. Shine on everybody. So if you want someone real to represent your community, then I suggest you vote for Andy White and Daniel Casey, because they truly are representing the people. Am I right? Shine on. Thank you, Daniel Casey. Thank you, Andy White. Shine on, Andy. God bless you. Shine on, Daniel Casey. And Mr Gordon, I hope you're standing next time. Shine on, everybody. Shine on. Yeah.